Hi, I'm Randy. Look what just happened to roll up in front of me. It's the best looking midsize SUV today. It's almost as wide as a full size SUV and can be categorized as a four door coupe because of its low roof line. It has a balance of power and comfort. When you see it in your rear view mirror, don't mistake it for a Camaro. I have the 2020 Chevrolet Blazer. Not much is known about this car, but I'm gonna shed some light on that. There are six different trim levels, but over 15 configurations between a four cylinder and a six cylinder engine, all wheel drive or two wheel drive. The trim levels are L, LT, LT2, LT3, RS, and Premier. The L trim starts at $29,900. This one is the Premier trim and is fully loaded. It comes in at $48,800. I'm going to go through all the options and features of the car, then start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. Thanks to Conno Chevrolet for lending me their brand new 2020 Chevrolet Blazer. They're one of the oldest and largest Chevrolet dealerships in Southern California. Conno Chevrolet is located in Costa Mesa, California, also known as Orange County. They have an amazing inventory of all models and trims. They'll even have the highly anticipated 2020 mid-engine Stingray Corvette. They'll help you build one today. Come on by and check them out. Their information is in the description below. The 2020 Chevrolet Blazer added a new 2.0 liter turbo four cylinder engine to their lineup. So there's three engines you can choose from now. The 2.0 liter engine, a non-turbo 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, and a non-turbo 3.5 liter six cylinder engine. The base engine is a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine that pushes out 193 horsepower and 188 pound feet of torque. The 2.0 liter turbo four cylinder engine pushes out 230 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. The one I have is Chevy's awesome naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 engine that pushes out 308 horsepower and 269 pound feet of torque. Getting you to 60 in just 6.4 seconds. They all come with a nine speed automatic transmission. There are so many configurations between the trims, engines, and wheels putting down the power that could be in its own video. I'll list all the configurations in the description below. The all new Chevy Blazer is nothing like the one from the 90s. It's the boldest and has the most progressive design in Chevy's lineup. It has a wide stance, tight proportions, sharp lines, and a high belt line giving the Blazer an athletic appearance from all angles. Each model has a unique look from the RS's blacked out appearance to this premier trim. It comes with 20 inch aluminum wheels, chrome accents, roof mounted side rails, side markers, blind spot warning, and automatic folding side view mirrors. It even has a floating roof line. The front of the Chevy Blazer is super aggressive with lots of angular shapes mixed with some chrome accents and a black Chevrolet emblem. The front has a powerful front black grille, athletic hood lines, HID headlamps are placed low and the LED daytime running lights are at the top of each corner. All vents on the Chevrolet Blazer are functional to provide cooling to the engine. The back has a spoiler with a LED third tail light, a rear windshield wiper and both tail lamp units are also LED. It has an optional black Chevy emblem and dual exhaust or are those exhaust tips. They're great looking exhaust tips not connected to the exhaust pipes. This makes it economically more affordable for us as buyers so manufacturers won't have to customize each exhaust pipe for each car. The Blazer's cargo area is a little smaller than its competitors because of its low roof line. It comes in at 30.5 cubic feet, but some of its competitors don't have this, a spare tire. There's also storage compartments on each side as well. When you pull the tabs, the seats fold down and then you get 64.5 cubic feet of space. Plenty of space to haul stuff around. 
You're probably wondering what those tracks are on the floor. The Chevrolet Blazer is the only car in the industry that integrates a metal gate into your car. You attach the gate to the rails and it slides back and forth to keep your stuff secured. To put the back seats back up, it's a little hard. You need a little strength to push it back up. Hopefully you've been to the gym a few times. And there you go. Not that easy, folks. Maybe GM can work on this. Let's see how many Randys fit in here. The opening is wide, almost as wide as a full-size SUV, and it's low here, so it's gonna be easy to load things in. The roof line cuts low, so it reduces the space in here, but there's a lot of room. About two of me fit in here comfortably. This is a Premier trim and it's fully loaded, but the whole time I've been opening up the hatch manually and I found out what happened. So the button to open it is right here. It opens automatically now. <laughs> and the button to close it is right here, but you push it once to hold it and then you push it again, it closes. But the corporate to this whole thing, the source of the problem was this little knob right there at the door. So that thing controls the trunk or the hatch and you can turn it off three fourths open or you can open it max and to open it you just pop it it's like a regular hatch button and it opens and there you go let's see if you could do more sit-ups and push-ups me or the chevrolet blazer I want to say thank you to Connell Chevrolet and management for letting me review the 2020 Chevrolet Blazer. If you're looking for a Chevrolet Blazer, or any car for that matter, come here to Connell Chevrolet or give them a call and give them an opportunity to win your business. And why don't you give Tommy Chow a call? He's the one that got me this Chevrolet Blazer. And by the way, please hit that like, subscribe, notification button below. It motivates me to do more videos. And it helps me get cars like these, those, and that to review for you. The Chevy Blazer doesn't offer a third row seat, but can seat three adults comfortably in the second row since it's almost as big as a full-size SUV. These leather seats have some texture and visible stitching with an armrest in the middle. The backseat drivers get access to a 120 volt outlet, USB and CUSB. And look at this, this is great for the fifth passenger. The floor is flat for more leg room. I'm six feet tall. I want to sit behind myself. Let's see how easy it is to get inside and how comfortable it is once I get in. Well, it's easy to get in and surprisingly, I have about three and a half to four inches of leg space and about no headroom. But to mitigate all that, just pull this lever and it tilts back and now I have about an inch of head space and it also slides to get more leg room. There you go. Nice job, Chevy. The front leather seats are super nice and comfortable with colored stitching and some suede trims. They're eight-way adjustable with lumbar support. They're heated and vented in the Premier trim. The Premier trim has a Bose stereo system, two memory settings, and one touch down for all four windows, but only the driver's side has one touch up. There's a lot of storage on the door, one spot for loose change or phone, and the other fits hand sanitizer and some Starbucks napkins. The Chevy Blazer's interior was inspired by a Camaro, but it's been improved and updated considerably. Everything is intuitive, easy to read and use. Lots of leather surfaces with colored stitching on the dash and doors. There are some aluminum trimmings to keep that sense of luxury. The instrument panel is super impressive, easy to read, and high tech, with the majority of it being digital and the outer portion analog. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have the buttons for the cruise control, settings for the collision alert, and heated steering wheel. Behind that is a headlight stock. On the right side of the steering wheel, you have buttons for your phone and instrument display. Behind that, you have your windshield wiper stock and start your engine button. And behind the steering wheel are buttons for the radio and volume. Here you have the high definition 8 inch touchscreen display that's easy to use and really responsive to the taps and swipes. Don't be mistaken, that's not the Avenger button, it's the engine start stop button. Here you have the home 
back and directional buttons for the infotainment system and the awesome knobby for the volume. Below that you'll find air controls with vented and heated seats. You have dual climate control. Just turn the ring and that's how you control the temperature for each side. The buttons in the middle will increase and decrease the air and defrost the front and back windows. Below that you have a USB, C USB port, wireless charger, shift knob, cup holders, and a knob to change your performance mode. There was a little delay when switching between modes. Hopefully that's nothing more than a software update. To the left you have buttons to turn on and off the parking sensor and lane departure warning. The glove compartment is pretty big. It has a USB, C USB port and a 12 volt outlet. The digital display can be switched between a digital speedometer, trip one, trip two, fuel range, oil life remaining, tire pressure, air filter life, timer, and the next sub menu is your audio. The remaining menus are locked or in demo mode. When there's a potential buyer or the car is purchased, the dealership will unlock it so that person can have full access. I can tell you that it's self-explanatory and easy to use since it's similar to my Z06. The resolution on the display I'd have to say is just as good as the luxury cars that I review. The colors just pop except they put this reflective glossy glass on top of it. Otherwise, it's really intuitive and responsive with haptic feedback. You'll find the fun stuff in the settings menu. In here, you'll see a sub menu for the rear seat reminder, climate, collision detection system. In the menu, you can also turn on and off the safety features. But why would you? There's a lot of customization in each menu, more than any Chevrolet car that I can remember, except the Chevrolet Silverado that I reviewed. The Silverado has an upgraded Chevy MyLink system as well. The backup camera provides a wide angle and a bird's eye view with several sensors to choose from. As you get closer to an object, the car will start beeping and your seat will vibrate to warn you. And you can't change the sensor options or camera angles while you're moving. Now for the fun part, let's take the 2020 Chevrolet Blazer Premier Trim from Connell Chevrolet for a spin. The Chevy Blazer has really good acceleration. The transmission goes through the gears smoothly while it gets up to speed. The roads really suck here, but I'm in sport mode. Place it in normal mode and the ride will be more compliant in rough terrain. The Chevrolet Blazer is going to give you the best handling in its class due to the lower and wider stance. In turn, you may sacrifice a little bit of comfort, but then you're getting a balance between comfort and performance. The driving position is perfect and the steering wheel is telescopic and it tilts. It telescopes pretty far for tall people. The seats are well padded and it's super comfortable except I wish the bottom cushion was a tad longer because I'm super tall, right? I'm just nitpicking, but it could be a little longer. On the blind, on the blind spot note, the C pillar and the D pillar are kind of big. So if there's a car behind there, it's gonna be hard to see, but that's why you have blind spot warning as well as all these other safety features that come with the car. One thing I wish this car had was a digital rear view mirror that's found in the Chevrolet Bolt and the new Camaro as well as some Cadillacs. Now this will give you a better view outside the rear as well as some of the blind spots on the corners. But uh, that will soon come, I'm assuming probably next year. Right Chevy? Chevrolet is known to make a strong and dependable V8 engine, right? Now the V6 is going to be their go-to engine for the most part because the V8s are getting smaller and sooner or later they're going to be discontinued. So their V6 is what they're counting on. And year over year, the V6 just keeps getting better. I remember driving a Camaro V6 about 12, 13 years ago and it wasn't this responsive and it didn't put the power down as smooth as the V6 is today. This is similar to the V6 I drove in the Impala, but it's a little smoother and this one actually has more power, but they just keep getting better and better. The Chevy Blazer is pretty quiet inside. You're not gonna have a problem on your Bluetooth or talking to your passenger. Road noise is at a minimum. The insulation in here is pretty good. That van cut me off, right? 
but it was going kind of slow and I was paying attention so there wasn't going to be an accident but the car didn't know that red lights started flashing everywhere the digital display started flashing red as well as the heads-up display well there's a red light in the heads-up display that flashes red on the wind windshield so it wakes you up as well as the seat that's the seat started vibrating like crazy to wake my butt up to let me know there was something in front of me or something was going to be in front of me to avoid an accident and it's pretty cool because I never experienced that before Hopefully I shed some light on the most unknown SUV, the 2020 Chevrolet Blazer. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up button and notification button below and subscribe to my channel. I'm Randy. See ya!